New Zealand has made some important changes to attract skilled migrant workers into New Zealand. As from the 9th of October 2023, all you will need is just six points to apply for the skilled migrant category resident visa. You can claim three to six points from your New Zealand occupational registration, qualification bachelor's degree or higher, income from your job or job offer, earning at least 1.5 times the median wage in New Zealand. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Daddy Cliff here. Today we will look at another six point based system of immigration that can allow you to migrate to New Zealand as a skilled migrant worker. Last time in this video up here, we talked about the chance and cut in Germany. Germany is equally at the point of putting into place as from 2024, new laws that will require you to equally have only six points to migrate into that country and then look for a job. If you've not yet watched that video, please, you might want to click the link up there on the top right hand of your screen and watch the video to know about the chance and card or the opportunity card that will enable you to travel to Germany and look for a job or in case you already have a job you can actually apply for a work visa to go and work in Germany but today we will be looking at the case of New Zealand where they've equally implemented the same six point system which is even more interesting than Germany if you ask me but before we get into the details of this new point system in New Zealand please if you know you've not yet subscribe to the channel why not begin by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you turn on notifications so that you will always be notified whenever there are opportunities like this to use your education to go and work in another country or maybe to have a scholarship to go and study in another country because that is what this channel the daddy cliff channel is focused on now let's get into the details of the new point system in new zealand by looking at the first one new zealand occupational registration if you go down here you would find New Zealand occupational registration. It says you will be able to use your occupational registration to claim points if it is on our list of eligible New Zealand occupational registration, registrations that require more training and worth more points. This simply means that let's say you did a degree to become a doctor. Maybe it takes six years to become a doctor in New Zealand. That will mean it will give you more points compared to somebody who did maybe computer science, a doctorate degree in computer science, and it only took the person three or four years. Basically, the longer the number of years for you to get a training, the more points you would get. So if you go down here, it says points available for occupational registration six points a minimum of six years of training is required to gain registration five point a minimum of five years of training is required to gain registration four years a minimum of four years of training is required to gain registration and three years, a minimum of two years of training is required to gain registration based on the number of years that you take to complete a particular training that's the number of points that you will get if you are curious and want to know the list of eligible occupational registration click here on that link and then it will take you to this page where you can filter health and social service search and then they will come out all you need to do is click on this and then you will find the details so if you take anesthetic technician you click details it will tell you points you can claim for so basically that's how you can go about if you are a chiropractor if you click details you find you can claim five points for that so that's how you can go about knowing the number of points that you can claim for the various eligible occupations. Next thing is qualification points. You will be able to claim between three to six points depending on the highest level of qualification you have and its New Zealand qualification framework level. Basically, they are trying to say here that if you have a doctoral degree, there is a number of points that you can claim. If you have a master's degree there is a number of points that you can claim if you have a bachelor's degree there is a number of points that you can claim so just having a doctoral degree in any field they say level 10 doctoral degree will give you six points you are eligible if you are a doctor if you have obtained a doctorate degree you can travel to New Zealand and work as a skilled worker five points if you have a master's degree and then four points for a bachelor's degree honor 
or postgraduate diploma and then they say three points for level eight postgraduate certificate level seven bachelor's degree and then here very important non-degree qualification if you have a non-degree you will not be eligible to claim points under the new point system other important area where you can claim point is at the level of income they say here you will be able to use your income from your jobs to claim points this skill indicator will replace the highly paid residence visa that was announced in 2022 and allow highly paid migrants to apply for the new skill migrant category visa instead this visa type is a visa type that is trying to discourage people from migrating to other countries let's say for example you migrated to new zealand to work and then there is another greater opportunity in neighbor country australia they don't want brain drain they are trying to avoid people who might have already worked in new zealand for maybe one or two years to kind of migrate to maybe australia Australia, Canada or the United States so with this new skilled migrant category resident visa you will be able to get both Australian and New Zealand passport and then the pay will equally be higher than in Australia so if you look here it says application for the highly paid resident visa were planned to open on September 29 2023 if you intend to apply for the highly paid resident visa you can now apply for the skilled migrant category visa instead from October October 9, 2023. The wage threshold in New Zealand can actually help you get more points. For example, you get six points if you have a job or a job offer in New Zealand at three times the median wage. Currently, they say the median wage is 88.98 New Zealand dollars per hour or maybe more. In case the job offer gives you this amount as an hourly pay, you get six points. And then if you have a job or the job offer in New Zealand is at two times the median wage, the median which is currently at 59.32 an hour so if you can get that pay on an early base you will get four points and then lastly you get three points if you have a job or the job offer in New Zealand is at 1.5 times the median wage the median wage is 44.49 New Zealand dollars per hour those are other areas where you can get more points in case you're not able to get more points from your qualifications like your degree if you're not able to get more points based on the duration of studies but then there are other conditions that you must take into account they say here that the job or job offer must be from an accredited employer it should be at least 30 hours a week and a permanent contract or fixed term contract of at least 12 months so if it's from an accredited employer 30 hours a week and then it is a fixed term contract that is at least 12 months if you have two years contract it's way better if you have three years contract it's way better it give you more points so if you go ahead and read here you would find more details on the job offer and wage threshold that can help you gain more points lastly number four is the skilled work experience in new zealand they say you will be able to claim one point for each year of skilled work experience you have in new zealand up to a maximum of three points basically here they are trying to say here that if you can get a job offer in new zealand if it's a contract that is at least one year or let's say 12 months you would get one point if the job contract is for two years or three years you would get extra points depending on the duration of the contract and then another thing is that it has to be a full-time job with at least 30 hours of work a week the wage is also very important now before we end the video it is important for me to state here that the new zealand occupational registration point qualification point income point skilled work experience in new zealand point are not the only indicators that will help you to travel to new zealand there are some other requirements that are not changing to the new point system they say some of the current requirements for the skill migrant category visas are staying the same these are you should be of good character for example let's say you had once applied for a visa to maybe visit New Zealand during your application it was rejected but it was not rejected based on your characters maybe like having bad characters like maybe you provided false documents stuff like that and then you're not having any health problems any challenging health problem that will cause 
the government to spend more money in fixing you rather than you working for the country it is very important that you take into account that and then english language requirement it is very important to remember that new zealand is an english speaking country so you would have to provide the required test to prove that you can speak english you should have at least 6.5 if you're using ielts in every band and then age requirement this is the best part of it you must be 55 years old or under to apply this is the best because in other countries it's usually between 30 and 40 but new zealand is asking people to travel to new zealand even at the age of 55 so there are other requirements that you would have to fulfill it is important that you go through this page and read and understand them for us not to make this video very long we will end here that being said please guys if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye bye